Developing tonight after years of protests over a forced confession and an overturned conviction, Gerald Reed will soon be free. Governor Pritzker commuting his sentence tonight to time served. One of Reed's fiercest advocates was his mother, who spent years fighting for his release. And she spoke to WGN's Rob Sneed, who joins us live tonight with the latest. Rob? Reed's mother says uh, her prayers have finally been answered after 30 years. She has a message to the officers allegedly involved in her son's case. Sir, that was so wrong what you did to my son. And I hope and pray that you never have the chance to hurt another person. You got to give an account for all the lies that you have destroyed, all the families that you have hurt. This is Armanda Shackelford's direct message to Michael Kill, Victor Briska, and John Burge for their alleged role in what happened to her son, Gerald Reed. One of the detectives told him that he was going to die in prison and that he was going to send me to an early grave. Did you ever think you'd see this day? No. Mm -mm. No, I never. Gerald Reed's case started in October of 1990. He says he was brought into custody by two detectives, Michael Kill and Victor Bresca, tortured him into confessing into a double homicide he did not commit. Both detectives worked under John Burge. Uh, did you participate in the electric shock uh, and threatening with the gun and, 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 and using racial epithets? Against this is the disgraced former police commander being questioned in court for his tactics in obtaining convictions in the 1970s and 1980s from black and brown people. Burge was fired from the department in 1993 but allowed to keep his pension. In 2010, he was convicted in federal court for lying under oath about police torture and sentenced to four and a half years in prison. He died in 2018. That's the same year a judge granted Reed a new trial but retired before Reed could have his day in court. A new judge assigned to the case said Reed wasn't entitled to the new trial. It shouldn't have never happened in the first place. They never found any evidence to prove that he did those crimes. Protesters today demanded Cook County Special Prosecutor Robert Millen be stripped from Reed's case and all other related cases to Burge. We need to keep fighting. I'm not going to give up. We've come too far. In this case, it has come so far, I didn't ever think it was going to come to the end. But I feel like God's so different. Reed's mother also tells me that Reed is expected to get out of prison on Monday. Reporting live on the city's south side, Rob Sneed, WGN News. Thanks, Rob.